guys learning with rich here in this video we are going to learn how to check and fix interference conditions using Revit 2021 okay so we are not going to use Navisworks for this one but we are going to use the option in Revit MEP 2021 or Revit 2021 okay so in this exercise we're going to run an interference check on a building to identify and fix interference conditions so you have created the MEP design for a multi-story conference center and let's say you want to identify and fix interference conditions right so for this we are going to run the interference check and then we're going to learn how to export the report and fix some interference conditions. So we are going to run an interference check and then we're going to select different elements. Okay, so basically we are going to fix interference between air terminals and lighting fixtures. And also we are going to fix interferences between ducts and pipe. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing that we're going to fix is the interference between the air terminals and lighting fixtures. So how to run the interference check in Revit. Okay, so to do that, it has something to do with collaboration. So that's why you just need to go to collaborate tab. And then after that, there's the coordinate panel. You can now see here interference check. So just click the drop down arrow and then just fire away the run interference check option. So just click that one. And from here, you'll be able to see two columns. Okay, so it's like column A and then you have a column B. So as you can see here from the categories from, it says here current project. So as you can see at the moment, you can only select one category here which is the current project so from here you just need to select the category that you want to check interference with so like for example we are going to check the interference between the air terminals just click that one okay and then let's look for lighting fixtures okay you can actually use the option here the selection option so you can click all it will highlight all the categories and then you click one box so what happens is it will select all the categories right so you can also select none to deselect it there you go so let's say i'm going to select dock fittings i'm going to hold shift and then click the flex dock so you can also use that selection or type of selection by holding your shift and you can also use control so you click one category and then you can select or I mean you can hold control and then you can select one by one the category that you want and you can also deselect that if you want okay so there's also invert here so let's say for example I select all the flex docs so if I want to invert the selection I can select invert there you go so I can uncheck this one okay well anyway um, I'm going to select here the air terminals and then the lighting fixtures okay and then after that let's select here okay all right so there you go so this is now our interference report so as you can see it is grouped by this option category 1 and category 2 and then you also have another group by category 2 and then category 1 so basically it's just the same so we have the category of air terminals and then clashes with the air terminal is the lighting fixtures here so we have lighting fixtures and then this is the clashes that we have here so if you're going to select for example the air terminal you will notice this is actually the clash here so there's the air terminal as you can see it's highlighted so if i'm going to zoom in there you see if i select this one it also highlights that one so same with this clash here and then this clash here well let's say for example the project is too big you can't just simply see where is the clashes no worry because you can click one of the clash and then there's an option here show so if you click that it will zoom into that particular um, category or particular clash if you're going to select show again it will open up other view 
you can select OK here. It will open up uh, another set of view for that one. There you go. So if you select Show Again, it will open another set of view where it shows that particular clash. Show Again. So it will show you different uh, views for that particular clash. Floor plan or in 3D view and in other view. Okay? Right. Well, anyway, I'm just going to go back again to level 2. As you can see, even if the interference report dialog box is here or open, you can still actually go back to your floor plan to select other views. Okay? Now, so same with the lighting fixtures. Okay? So as you can see, there's the lighting fixtures. And then you can also see here the ID. Okay? You can also use the search ID if you want to find this particular uh, air terminal. But no need to do that because you can click that one and then you can select export. Right. And now you can also export, or I mean show. You can also export this if you want to create a report. You can click export. And then it will just save the file as an HTML file. So let's say I'm just going to override this one. So I'm going to select save here. Yes. Okay. And then let me now go to that particular um, exercise file. Where did I save that one? Okay. So let me just go to Revit. Okay, so I can't find it. So I'm just going to export again. I'll just put it on my desktop. I'll just... Uh, okay, so this is Interference Report. Okay, and then save. And then let's open that one. So let's go to my desktop. Interference Report. There you go. So here's the report now. All right, so you can also create or you can also export the interference report, okay? So this is now the interference report. So interference report is very useful if you want to check your model if it is clashing with another discipline, okay? So now let's say, for example, I'm going to fix this one. So let's say what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to move the air terminal, for example, so I'm going to move the air terminal. I'm going to click that air terminal. And then I'm going to move that. Move. Pick. And then I place it here. Okay. Or whatever. Or wherever you want to place that one. So you can just move that as long as it's not clashing with the other discipline. Okay. So let's say, for example, you are now done with the clash. You already fixed that. So you can now use refresh here to see. There you go. So after I refresh here, you can see that there is no clashes here anymore. Okay, so that's what you do. So you fix the clash and then you re uh, refresh the interference report. So by doing this, it will minimize your coordination when you do it on the Navis Works, because in Revit, you already use the interference checking. Now, so there is another way to run the interference report or to run the interference check. So let's say I'm going to open the 3D view. Mm, let's say, oh no, not that one. How about this one? Okay, so I'll use this one, the room 214. So another way of using your interference check is by selecting the objects. Like, for example, you can select just one area, for example, just this area of the clash. Okay? No need for you to concentrate in one whole building. Okay? You can just simply select portion of the building, and then from there, you can concentrate the clash detection or interference checking. So after you select, you just go to Collaborate, Interference Check, run interference check and then you can now see here from the categories from if you click here you now have two options so a while ago we have current project so now you have an option here current selection so current selection meaning it will only shows you here all the elements that you have selected 
on your view. So it's now showing these uh, elements here. So let's say I want to check the clashes between the pipes and then the docks. So I'm going to select all. I'm going to click one of the box to deselect it. So I want to select only the uh, docks and pipes. Oh, sorry. So docks on this side and then um, pipes on this side here. Okay, so docks and pipe. So I select here, okay. And there you go. So we have a clash here. So you see there's a clash. So there's a clash. There's our, let me just turn on the thin lines. Let me turn, uh, change the detail level to fine. And there you go. So as you can see, there's a clash, right? So it's obvious there's a clash there. See, there's a clash. So if I click this one, there's a clash. There's the pipe. Okay, so there's a clash there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix this by changing the height of my pipe. So I'm going to click uh, one of the pipe. So I escape. I click the pipe and then I'll just lower it. So let's say I'm going to change the middle elevation like uh, 8 feet. 8 feet. 8 feet. Enter. Oops, I think it's too low. So I'm going to cancel this one. So I click the pipe. How about uh, 9 feet? There you go. So it's now moved down. So, oh, so it's not clashing anymore. So let us refresh again if there's a clash. There you go. So no more clash. So basically, that's how you pick, uh, fix the interference in your project by using interference check by Revit. 2021. So hopefully you learn something from this video. This will going to be help you instead of using the another software like Anavisworks, you can actually do the clash detection in your Revit 2021 project. All right. So hopefully you learn something from this video. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.